Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for phonics. So get out your purple C work folder so we can do our charts together. Okay, you ready? Okay, last week we did our charts. We just did the letter and the sound. Okay, this week we can do the same thing except we're going to go a little bit faster. Okay, okay, we're going to work on our speed. You ready? Open up your folder, turn to that first chart. That's our vowel chart. Are you ready? Let's go. I, 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 U, 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 E, 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 A, 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 O, A, A. Turn the page and we're going to go over our consonants. We're going to start with T. Are you ready? T, 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 L, O, O, B, 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 N, N, N. M, 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 H, S, 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 C, K, K, D, 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 G, G, G. Okay, turn your page and you're going to do the back side of your consonant chart. We're going to start with R. Ready? R, 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 F, 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 J, 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 K, 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 V, 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 X, 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 W, 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 Y, 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 P, 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 Z, 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 Q, Q, Q. All right, good job. We did that super fast. Okay. Now we're going to go over to our board, and I have eight words written on this board right here. And all these words have two vowels, okay? But we've got to find out what's missing. That first vowel is missing, so we need to see what goes in the blank. Let me grab my marker, and we're going to go over this together. I'm going to use a green so you can see it better. Okay, your first word up here, it has G blank T E. That first vowel is missing, okay? Now your vowels are over here in red. We need to determine which one it is. Is it an A or is it an E? Okay, what do you think goes in this blank? An A or an E to say the word gate? What says gate? What says A? A. Good job. Gate. That, so now we're not missing our vowel anymore. Now we can read the word gate. It's an A. Okay? All right. The next word, H blank K E. What vowel goes in that blank if I wanted to write the word hike? Hike. Would it be an O or an I? It would be an I. Hike. Hike. Good job. So that's our missing vowel. Next word. H blank M E. What vowel is missing? If I wanted to write the word home, home, would it be an O or an I? Did you say O? You did. You are correct. O. Home. Home. Good job. Next word. T blank M E. That first vowel is missing. If I wanted to write the word time, time, what vowel would I use? An I or an O? An I. Time. Time. Good job. Now we're going to go over here to our other words. You ready? B blank N E. That first vowel is missing. If I wanted to write the word bone, bone, would it be an I or an O? It'd be an O. Bone. You hear the O in bone? It's going to say its name. All right. Now these are all the long sound, okay? R blank S 
E. If I wanted to write the word rose, rose, what vowel is missing right here in rose? Would it be E or O? It would be an O. You're going to write that O. Rose. Good job. Next word. C blank K E. That first vowel is missing. If I wanted to write the word cake, cake, would it be an I or an A? Cake, it'd be an A. We'd write the word, the letter A to write the word cake. Good job. All these have an E on the end, so you know that first one's gonna be the long sound. Ready? B blank K E. If I wanted to write the word bake, bake, would I use an O or an A? I'd use an A. Good job. Bake, bake. Good job. All these are two vowel words, but the first vowel is missing. So we filled in all the blanks and we've got them all right. Good job. Now, Miss Sheila's going to erase the board so we can read some sentences. All right, we are ready to start reading our sentences. But first, let's go over our basic punctuation marks, okay? This one is a period, and that tells us to stop. This one is a question mark, and that just simply asks a question. This one is an exclamation mark, and that one just shows some emotion, okay? Some expression, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do before we read, we have to look for sight words. Put your hands up and get ready to look at our sight words and read them. Ready? The, and, is, a. Ready? Let's do that one more time. The and is a. Okay, now that you know our punctuation marks, now that you know sight words, we're ready to read. Okay, sentence number one. A sentence always begins with a capital letter and it always ends with a period. Well, these end with a period, okay? So, now that we have our capital letter and our ending mark, we're ready to look at each word to break it down so we can read. Okay, first word. How many vowels do you see here? One. So, we're gonna mark it with a smile. This right here, this C and this K, that's what we call a special sound, and that C and the K, they don't look alike, but they say the same sound, don't they? So we call that a special sound. So I'm gonna circle this because that's our special sound and I'm gonna underline your blend, okay? This right here is a sight word, so I'm just gonna make a little mark. This is how I mark it, just so you know that it's a sight word. This right here, how many vowels? One. So we mark it with a smile. This right here is what we call a double consonant. That means they both look alike and they both sound the same, so we say it one time. Okay, I'm gonna underline my blend. How many consonants this one have? I mean, how many vowels? One, so I'm gonna mark it, underline my blend. One vowel, okay? This is a sight word. One vowel here and a double consonant. We say just one time and I'm gonna underline my blend. Okay, you ready to read it? We're gonna say the blend first. Remember, always read your blend first, okay? CK, that's a special sound. If they both say K, we just say it one time. You ready? Short sound, Jack, K, Jack. Sight word and, J, O. Jill, ra, n, ran, up. Now I didn't have to underline this because it's just two letters. So the U is going to say the short sound, and then you add your P. 
diff, diff, duff, duff. I know my blends and how about you? Okay, next one. This is your F blend ladder. Fa, fe, fi, fa, 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 fe, fi, fa, 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 fe, fi, fa, fa. I know my blends and how about you? One more. I'm gonna get a little harder. Ready for a hard one? Are you ready? Super hard. Ready? Go. Va, ve, vi, va, 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 ve, vi, va, 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 ve, vi, va, va. I know my blends and how about you? Good job. Y'all are doing so, so good. Okay, so this week we have four phonics papers. You have one on Monday, you have two on Wednesday, and one on Friday. Okay, so that's four phonics papers this week. So that's our phonics lessons for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and move to reading. Okay, so if you have your book handy, go ahead and grab your book so we can read together. If you don't have it, just follow along, okay? Last week you read Pet Pete, so today I'm just going to review that with you, okay? We've already went over our basic punctuation marks, so now we're just ready to read, okay? Watch how I follow with my finger, okay? I'm going to read the title, and the title is just simply the name of your book, Pet Pete. And I'm going to turn the page this way. And I'm going to hop over to page three because I'm not going to mark any vowels or read any of this. I'm just going to read your book. I'm just going to review. Okay, page three. Ready? Together. See the lad. His name is Ben. And I'm going to turn the page. I'm going to skip this and just go straight to page number five. Ben got a goat. His goat is Pet Pete. I'm going to turn the page. We're going to hop over to seven. Ben ran and hid. Can Pet Pete hide? Page nine. Ben got a rod. Pet Pete went up the road. And I'm going to turn the page. And I'm on 11. Ben can not cut, but Pet Pete is cute. All right, and that's our story. Okay, did you like that story? All right. Now this week, I want you to read Jake. Now this story here is about a cat, and from the looks of the cover of your book, it looks like Jake gets into trouble. What is this right here? That looks like a cake. Remember we read the word cake earlier when we had a missing vowel. It looks like Jake might have gotten into that cake. Hmm. I don't know. You're going to have to read the book to find out and let me know, okay? When you read, let me know. Now, you're going to see all three of these basic punctuation marks. You're going to see a period, you're going to see a question mark, and you're going to see an exclamation point. You're going to see every one of them. So when you do, when you see a question mark, your voice tends to go up a little bit, ask that question, okay? Just like in this other book, Can Pet Pete Hide? And when you see this, this mark right here, you show some emotion. So let's see what Jake is up to, okay? I want you to read Jake and let me know about it. If you have any trouble, you can just call me and we'll work on it together, okay? Okay, that's our reading for today. Bye-bye.